I'm back everyone. I'll go and show you some basic ways of how to instantly increase the storage on your iPhone. Now the easiest way that I can pretty much see this is to clear out any unused applications on your iPhone. Now as you can see here, I have a couple of different random apps that I'll never use ever again. So here what I can do is hold them down, click remove app, click delete app, and this will without a doubt pretty much clear out the most amount of storage no matter what you're going to do. Either it's clearing apps or it's clearing photos. Now most of the time people don't want to clear photos too much, so clearing out these applications that you're not using anymore is by far one of the easiest ways to keep your iPhone as clean as possible and to clean out the storage that way you can just save a bunch of storage this way and if you just take a look at some of these you know specific apps that I have you may realize that dude I don't even play these apps anymore so there's not even any point of me still you know utilizing these specific applications so in my opinion this is probably the first thing I'd recommend doing clearing out any unused applications and that by far is probably the easiest ways to clean out the most amount of storage on your phone now another thing is actually making your way over to your system settings on your iPhone like this. You want to go down into general which is right here and what you want to do here is you want to click iPhone storage. Now what this is going to do is it's going to bring you into your iPhone storage panel and they're actually go ahead and give you some recommendations up here. So up here it's going to say offload unused apps and down here it's going to say iCloud photos and it tells you save 20.35 gigabytes by automatically offloading unused apps and right down here it says save 2.64 gigabytes automatically upload you know all your photos if you want to that way and it'll delete it from our own apps so this is an amazing way to do it and it'll instantly free up so much storage so here if i go and click here you can actually enable this and it will go ahead and store your specific apps to the cloud and then you can go ahead and download the apps or re-download them whenever you want to and you can just keep going down that direction with iCloud Photos, same exact thing, but I think it does count to your limit. So those are two different options there. As always, you can scroll down here and just see what apps are taking up the most amount of time and just kind of delete them. So this one I don't use anymore. I'll delete this one. And you can just keep going down these and go down that direction as well. So that kind of covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.